Hello, it's Karen. And Ruth, hello. Good Sunday evening. Sunday evening it is. Yeah, it's been a very quiet day, hasn't it? Very quiet, lovely. Yeah, nice restful day. Yeah. Been out for a walk with the doggo. It's quite um, quite balmy at the moment. Yeah. Quite dry. Still light as well. Yeah. The light nights are drawing in. They certainly are. Summer's on the way. Woo-hoo. Woo-woo. <laughs> Well, I hope you're all having a fabulous weekend. So um, we thought we'd just pop on because um, Foodie Booty, Chantal, Everyday Mariam. Meryl. Meryl uh, posted a video. Um, we have seen it and we thought, you know, we don't react to her really because she didn't have a voice on our channel anymore. No. But what we thought would be fun yes. is if we compared her to um, Chubster's latest video yeah, and see who is the most boring. I think that's a fabulous approach. Because really, I think they're vying for top spot in the most boring vlogger ever. 2024. Very. So. It is, it is a difficult one. It is a difficult one, but... Shall we see? Let's see. What her joyful production was. <laughs> Hello, Poopy Booty. So we're kicking off with a drive through breakfast. Take away food. What's a drive through? Drive through. It's fast food. Fast food, so that puts her on a par with Chubster. Yeah, yeah. Although she's getting out. Well, yeah, she's in the car, but so, she's only in the car. It's not like she's not walked, has she? No, no. So, fast food breakfast, nice. Lovely. Stopping off for petrol. Lovely. The obligatory munching in the car. Feed of content. Yes, cream cheese bagel, which she made a big show of eating. Oh, really, did she? she? Well, yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, she ripped it in half, oh. showed it the camera, got it all over her face again. <sighs> All the usual, uh, complete feeder content, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, 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 on a par with Chubster, yeah. Still on a par with Chubster. Yeah. And the libation of choice. Yeah. Orange juice. Fresh orange juice. Lovely, full yeah. of sugar, great. Absolutely. The worst thing for a diabetic to mm. drink. Yes, yes. Orange juice like that, any fruit yeah. juice like that. Chock full of sugar. So really, her and Chubster are neck and neck at the moment, but... The point is they've got no necks, have they? So. <laughs> <laughs> they've got a lot of chins, though. Chin to chin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the field. And if she carries on eating and drinking like that, she's going to have even more. Ay, ay, ay. So we can assume she's uh, oh just come out of the hospital where she didn't have norovirus. She probably had high blood sugar because she doesn't take care of her diabetes. And Correct. Here we go again. She's yeah. still not taking care of it. You won't have long left, Meryl, if you carry on like that, love. Not at all. Then she took us on a little jaw. A walk, OK. Yeah. Where she wobbled the camera about a lot. Reckoned she'd walked for 15 minutes one way and then 15 minutes back. Oh, is that what? Yeah. Yeah, so she'd walked for 30 minutes. In actual fact, she probably walked like 100, 100 metres and turned around and came Wobbled back. Wobbled back again, yeah. Yeah, the camera was very shaky. She did apologise for the shaky camera, didn't she? She did. Um, still neck and neck for me, Karen. Yeah, but I get, at least she's out walking. But she she's done a chubster here. There was no proof of any distance that she walked. No. She kind of filmed the trees, wobbled the camera about. And and rule number one with both of them, lying liars who lie. Exactly. Sociopaths. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. so the, the chances so, that she walks 15 minutes. It's a tough one so far, Karen. Slim chin on. <laughs> Then she showed us a nice tree. I do believe this was to show us that these are the trees in Canada as opposed to the palm trees in Q8. Yeah, yeah. Sort of little known fact. Little known fact. In yeah. fairness to her, though, I absolutely love watching nature stuff from other countries. Yes. I do. I'm a massive Post 10 fan. Yeah. If any of you out there know Post 10, I'm a massive fan. I love all his videos and I love all this nature stuff. Um, you know, uh, 
A tree, a tree is sort of a tree, really. Isn't <laughs> yeah. it? You know, I mean, Canada's such a beautiful country. I know. You know, why not? Why not cater more for people who don't live in Canada? Yeah. Who who don't know the countryside? Because we have a lot of trees like this out back, don't we? Well, I don't know. Quite like this, aren't they? No, I think oh, they mainly kind of weeds actually. <laughs> oh, there are trees because they fell down in the wind. Uh, anyway, out the back of us. Do you know? I did I dream it? <laughs> you dreamt that because we don't actually have really trees out We've the got back. A tree out the front. Yeah, but that didn't fall over. No, all right then. Do you know? She's been bomba- bomba- <laughs> bombarding me with bloody dreams about fucking sausage butters. <laughs> Noodles. Noodles. I don't know all what else. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Have you been taking your medication? I have today. Oh. Thank you. Like some more. <laughs> and totally robbed from Chubster's videos. Here we've got some kind of planner come journal come... <sighs> Some other bollocks, and it's it's all jolly interesting anyway. Oh, it's not though. What I like is though, she's just had a breakfast and she's written that there. You can see at the top: bagel, cream cheese, OJ. At the bottom, she's already written in what snack she's going to eat later. How do you do that? Planning ahead. It's a planner. Yeah, but. I don't plan a snack. No. If, if you get a bit peckish, you have a snack. Well. If you don't get peckish, you don't snack. No. But, we'll, yeah, they've got different eating habits to human beings. It's, quite, it's mind-blowing really? that to me, though. Like, tonight I'm going to fancy. How do you know what you're going to fancy well, later on? Well, Amber, her whole life revolves around what she's just had, what she's going to have. When, where, and to what extent? Never mind. Will I be hungry then? It's yeah. Or will I fancy that later? Yeah. You don't. You don't always know what you want, do you? Till you're actually a bit peckish. Well, we certainly don't in this house, do we? No, we haven't got a clue. Well, today Karen had a nice, healthy, homemade uh, chicken curry, and it was healthy and it was homemade. And I've had. Let me tell you what I've had. Um, sour cream, bacon and chive curly fries and we're both perfectly happy <laughs> but not both perfectly healthy <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to buy you one of these planners <laughs> then you can plan Never your, mind. your salt laden snacks for later I only had a few <laughs> you had half the bag <laughs> anyway what were we yeah, so health and fitness, she's walked for 30 minutes. Well, that's debatable. She's got some kind of appointment. I don't know if that was with a therapist. She was talking about a therapist. She, she? she has been, yeah. Or, not, or a counsellor. Yeah, I tend not to believe a word. Of well, no, I don't. And the only reason she's shown this is because bloody Chubster shows her journal. Exactly. I thought this had the potential to be interesting, Karen. It, it, these where the geese nest yeah. and they think they're a protected species and the government actually put put um, fences round. It had the potential to be interesting. Did you find it interesting? Uh, not the way she told it, no. So this was a Canadian goose that had made a nest in this, um, what would you call it, like a big planter, I suppose, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, I mean, we have Canadian geese here as well. They're a bloody nuisance. But um, uh, they're always in the roads. Right. The roads are holding up traffic. Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, nobody bothers. We don't bother, but they're just a bit of a bloody nuisance if you happen to, you know, want to get on your way. But yeah. anyway, that's just the way it goes. But um, the, One of the reasons that I found this not only boring, but um, fake, because she's... Um, she mistreats animals so badly. Yeah, and she's not remotely interested. Not at all. In nature or anything. Not, that comes across. She's not interested in anything other than herself. No. So I'd, I'd have to allot this to filler content that failed horribly. Oh, it was absolute filler content. Because all I could think of was, why are you being so fake? Yeah. 
Yeah. Pretending this, you know. Yeah. I mean, we've got a bit of info here. So there's geese nesting here. The local council, whatever, have put a fence around it and told people to stay away because they can get aggressive when they're nesting. Yeah. Um. And that was basically it, really. You know, she's like, look at the mother nesting, and there's the there's the daddy outside guarding. Um, you know, I mean, go into a bit more about it. This is, it's like pointing a camera and saying, look, birds. I'll tell you what. And you've, <clears throat> you've got, look, look, a tree and a plant. Oh, okay. Great. I mean, are they native to Canada? What, what are they? You know, it's like saying, is grass? No. <laughs> Touch it. <laughs> but, really, but when you watch people that vlog about nature yeah. and they're very informative yeah. and they'll tell you what trees are, you know, what's native to the area, yeah. what wildlife mm. they've got, you know, and what do we get here? Oh, here's a nice tree. The trees are lovely and the plants. From somebody who absolutely has... No interest. No, exactly. I mean, I was more interested in discussing my loaded f salty snacks. Fly. <laughs> <clears throat> now, this is the bit I was interested in, because on her thumbnail, she said making cauliflower crust pizza. Yeah. And I'd, I'd said to Karen, oh, let's watch this, because I'm always interested in cookery, and mm. I've never... <clears throat> I don't know how to make cauliflower crust pizza. And I thought, might learn something. And here you go. She bought two pizza bases. Frozen. Frozen. And flung some cheese on. <laughs> so that's cheese on toast <laughs> with a few olives. Well, I, I, I mean, I like cauliflower stuff, I've, you know. I've never tried cauliflower Crust pizza. I think I might have had it once. I can't remember. But like cauliflower rice, etc. You know, I, I can get down with all that. Well, you like cauliflower, don't yeah, but, you? Yeah, but but to just say, well, here's a couple of frozen ones about that, uh, uh, that tells us nothing, does it? She's so lazy. Making, she put making cauliflower crust pizza. So that was the clickbait that dragged me in. Yeah, yeah. And this is what we've got. And that's what we've got. And I thought, well... That was boring. <laughs> so neck and neck. Mind you, we started watching somebody else we watched. Oh. That, that uh, does a cooking show. I yeah. won't name the channel. But, no. Um, she's, it, she's a very large lady, but she does a good cooking she, section. She is a good cook. Yeah, she's a very good cook. Um, She's also into um, feederism. She does it for a living. Um, anyway, that's by the by. So we, we watched her just to get the cooking bit. Yeah. And all she was waffling about was the relationship she has with a partner who she's not seen for two years because he lives abroad and they can't be together. And she went on and she went on and she went on and all about this and then her relationship with her dad, didn't she? Yeah. And it's like, well, when are you going to get to the cooking? Well, this, yes. You know, I don't sign up for that. No, it's a cooking show. It's a cooking show. Get to cooking. Yeah. If we want to know about your relationship with your family, your bloody partner, how you how you waddle your 57 stone onto a plane, um, you know, we'll watch that. Well, we'll actually sure watch Amberlynn Reed or Merrill for that yeah. content. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. a cooking show. Cook. Yeah. So I'll never know how this, what, promise to be a delicious uh, rustic dish um i'll never know no because we had to switch off because we're not we're not here for trauma dumping or therapy no exactly sessions. yeah you know we're not your counselors so go and tell it to your therapist and and you 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 plug into metal for your cauliflower crust pizza and what do you get cheese on toast <laughs> so it's boring and there you go, she's at some oh. of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Did she eat it and throw it up again? <laughs> <laughs> it does look like some of the dogs chewed, doesn't it? Do, uh, anyway, yeah. Do we see it? TMI. <laughs> but it does. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. That was the, uh, that was the end. Just. Pizza. And this was the pre-planned snack. Oh. 
<sighs> some sort of um, things with salsa. This is, they're still neck and neck in the boring department, Karen. Yeah. In yeah. my humble opinion. I mean, you got to remember, she was voiceover. She was doing a voiceover of all this. In a bit low BMI voice. Yeah, in the low BMI you voice. You can trust me. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling the truth. Yeah, I haven't just scammed you all on PayPal. No. And I was really ill. Yeah. Uh, you weren't, and no. you did. Uh, oh, yeah. Because <laughs> you're a heinous human being. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, there we go. So then we moved on to a marvellous section where she showed different clips, which we're not going to do because this picture will do. Yeah. Um, talking about why she wants to go back to Kuwait. This is where the boring became interminable <laughs> because she was trying, she was attempting to give us some sort of existential uh, narrative about some or other. And, the meaning of life. And, yeah, and, and all it holds. And how nobody really understands. Yeah. Because they're not her. Yeah. The, the I, upshot was, she wants to go back to Q8 because Scatman's there and her two pets. Well... Hopefully her two pets are still there. If Scatman's been looking after him, God knows where they no, are. Yeah. But anyway, so she wants to go home because her family's there. Yeah. She don't like Canada. She can't identify with it. She's unhappy there. Oh, is that, was that the long short? Yeah, and that's what she's going to have counselling before she goes back to understand why she's unhappy in Canada. She wants really to have a look at what's going on in the world because I do believe the airspace is closed at the moment. Well, yeah, she won't be able to get back. So that'll be, I bet you any money that'll be the next video. Uh, I can't get home to Kuwait because oh, they've closed airspace. Oh, yeah. And then we might have an anti-Semitic rant then because it'll all be Israel's bloody fault. Oh, dear, anyway. dear. Um, and somewhere PayPal will come into it. Yeah, yeah. PayPal so she can get a private helicopter home. <laughs> <laughs> She's so desperate. So there we have it. That was the jolly interesting video. Now, boring to boring, we still, we've still got to make a decision. Just based on that pile of shite and um, Chubster's pile of continuing shite. pile of shite, have you come to any conclusions, Karen? I have got a winner. Have you got a winner for the most boring? The most boring has to go to Chubster. I've got to agree with you there. And I'll tell you why. Because Meryl is very boring. Very, very boring. Um, seriously, I wanted to. Um, yes, yes. Go to bed. Yes. Um, the only, the only saving grace was the nature side of it. You know. Right. Getting in the walk in the nature, getting in the geese. Yes. Um, you know the trees. Yeah. It was very poor, but fair enough. At least you filmed something. Yes. Whereas all we're getting off Chubster. Do you know you're right, Karen? Is her, is her chin sat on a couch? You're right. I, 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 I heartily agree. Chubster is the most boring YouTuber on the face of the planet. Yeah, bar none. Bar none. Yeah, shocking. Absolutely shocking content. I don't know how she's got, I mean, I know her views are dropping, but she's got, what did she get off that last pile of shite? I think she's at 33,000 views at the minute. In two days. Uh, it's ludicrous. The first it? 24 hours, I think she hit 25,000 yeah. in 24 hours. And they're going down with each vlog. They are going down, and but it's 33,000 views is a lot of views. But, but you know. But. Slowly but surely, they're going down. I know they're going down, but what I'm saying is that the extent of the boredom you feel watching her videos now is why people continue to go back and watch. Do you know what I mean? It, On her channel. Yeah. And not just go and watch, like, a reaction channel. Yeah. Because at least we add to the videos. Yeah, yeah. That people go and visit her channel. And I'm not telling people not to go. Do what you want. You, do what, yeah. You do you, boo-boo. Yes, yes, You know, I'm yes. not telling anybody not to go. But it surprises me that people do go to her channel and watch that content with no added commentary. Nothing. Just raw-dogging it. Yeah. Like, I couldn't. 
Well, I have to because <laughs> we had to it. But Ruth certainly doesn't ever watch oh. prior to me sticking it on here and, you know, we go for it. Um, no, I, I can't. I, it's another mystery. I can't fathom. I it's can't a mystery. It. There are many, many unsolved mysteries in this life and that rates amongst one of them. Yeah. I'll tell you what's another mystery. Go on. Who ate the last Scotch egg? <laughs> Have you eaten it? No. Oh, well, it's not gone then. It's still there. Oh, is it still there? It's still there. I've got my eye on it. <laughs> what I did was, Karen bought a pack of full Scotch eggs. Now, I'm not a Scotch egg girly as much as Karen is. Girly pop? Girly <laughs> And uh, potato salad's not my thing. But Karen came home with a pack of four quality content scotch eggs and a tub of potato salad. And I thought, oh, go on, I'll just have a bit. Well, I've suddenly gone very scotch eggy and very potato salady. So Karen had one and I had two, that left one. But what I did, I took it out of the packet, put it in a polythene bag and hid it behind <laughs> the cheese. <laughs> and cooked you a very nice... You're evil. I know. You had a very nice healthy chicken curry. What sort of I you? did, and it was very yummy as well. Yeah. So that's what happened here. Yeah, I'm just wondering what you fed Toffee Dog, though, because his backside... Oh. ...is rank. I'm gassed. Uh, just a tiny bit of pate. <laughs> a tiny bit oh lord above <laughs> well he looks at me with those eyes well if you need good. that in the middle of the night you're taking him <laughs> I ain't I'm not taking responsibility for that slip up anyway anyway so yep yeah. it, it's really been um, it's been a tough one this hasn't it Karen well they're both tough yeah they're a tough watch both yeah. of them yeah I think Girl World really needs an injection of well something or somebody. You know who's getting dragged into Girl World, kicking and screaming. Alejandra. Alejandra. Oh, God, but she's a boar, man. Ah, not when French fried girl comes. No, her. but she's, she's a boar. Nah. She, no, but that was the one we covered. Yeah. That was that was something to react to. She's, she's, gonna, she's only, I think she's only going to cover the pregnancy. Because cause, um, Frenchie's not into boring, is she? Well, neither am I. I no. Mean, and, you know, yeah. Frenchie can get on with it, but I ain't doing it. <laughs> She's fucking boring, man. Uh, yeah. I try, I try. I do try and watch her vlogs to see if there's anything remotely interesting, and she's another one. Yeah. And, and the one I watched the other day, it was Anne Boleyn all over again. <sighs> she, I, I swear to God, she went to get her nails done, she did the exact same shot as, as Amberlynn did in the car park when she was showing her nails. Yeah. And then she stood there clacking them yeah. and clicking them. Oh, she's forever doing that nails on the jar thing. And... Yeah, and it was just like watching Amberlynn again, but yeah. a different person, a different voice, and her yeah. voice is so annoying anyway. Yes, um, yes. She, she's just bo she's boring. She's got, all that, she's got all that money. She's got a beautiful house. She's got a car, she's got a dog. You very rarely see her taking the dog out. Like she's another one that won't show anywhere of where she lives. You know, we don't want to keep looking at your fucking face all the time. No. Honest to God, talk about narcissism at its finest. At its finest. Yeah. Anyway, rest assured, if we go quiet for a day or two, that's because we're looking for something that interests us to talk about. Because these lot in girl world... Mm. Are just so dull. New, fresh and exciting. Yeah, well, something interesting because there's nothing interesting with them. No. Absolutely nothing interesting. Um, you know, unless there's some drama pops up that's worth talking about. I'm so I'm so done with Chubster. Uh, Meryl we don't really react to now anyway, unless she's doing something Outrageous. way out. And we can just take the piss. That's yeah. all we do now is take yeah. the piss out of her, really. Yeah. And Chubster. But, uh, you know, even that starts to become a bit stale. It, it does. And I think a lot of reactors feel the same. Yeah. And and Chubster now has got a finger on the uh, report button again. So she had one of the ankles videos oh, taken down, no. didn't she? Oh, Scumbag. So we're not going to be showing any of her, you know, if we, if we do cover her, it's going to be 
um, still still pictures on and take the piss and take the piss because they're just they're just a waste of space. Well, the, the, really, you, they cannot be taken seriously, can they? No, no, I I, I can't take them seriously. If you start taking them seriously. It, it starts affecting your your bloody head, your space. mentals. It does, it and does. you know what? Mental things are Us is is. scary. <laughs> but you know what else? What books is good for the brain? Oh yeah. Uh, anyway. Anyway, yes. So that's all very jolly. Yeah, it's <laughs> been fun. Well, it hasn't, but there you go. It's been fun. <laughs> <laughs> Do like and subscribe and comment below. <laughs> Et al. <laughs> yeah. And when we start streaking and laughing, we'll be straight... I was going to say straight on the phone. Well, we will. But we're straight on the telly with it, won't we, Karen? Well, I'm off to... I'm off to um, so it's a dialotherapist. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to get back and do my salty snacks. So. Yeah, we'll have a nice cup of tea anyway. Yeah. yeah. Just a little afterthought from editing us here. Um, in Meryl's last video, she made a statement along the lines of, I entertain your butts, <gasps> so I should get money for it. I should get paid for it. <sighs> um, this is the content she puts out that she reckons she should get paid for. <sighs> So, paid, how, uh, paid extra for, because she gets already paid from YouTube and AdSense. Yeah, but but her, her point was, if you put out content, you should get paid for it. Yes. Well, so, yeah, she already gets AdSense, etc. Um, she shouldn't even get that, in my opinion. No. But... I mean, how much do we? How much do we reckon? If we were going to make a donation, how much would we make based on the entertainment value of that? To to merit or yeah. Well, nothing. Exactly. <laughs> That's my point. Nothing. Who's, who's going to give money for that? Uh, you sit there and say, I entertain you, so therefore I should get money. I think she owes us. Yeah, actually, yeah, she does. Yeah. Meryl, you owe us love. We'll be putting the chitty in now. Yeah, so pay Time. up. Time. Time and pain. Bish. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Bye. Bye. Mavis and my head. Thank you. <laughs>